In Excel, if you share a workbook, in other words, if you set up a workbook so that you can allow multiple users to access the file at the same time, you automatically incorporate the concept of tracking changes. And you can imagine wanting to track changes if you've got multiple users working with the same file. Now, what if you want to track changes and you're the only user? In either case, we need to know something about the feature called tracking changes. On the review tab, you'll see an option called track changes. Let's imagine a scenario where you're the only user. Track changes. Highlight the changes. This is our first use of the feature. Highlight changes. Track changes while editing. That's what we want to do. But notice the sentence that follows it. This also shares your workbook. Now that sounds a little confusing maybe. Do we want others to be able to get to this file? Well, maybe not. If we share a workbook, we're simply setting up the possibility that others could be using it. But of course, if we're saving this file in a location that no one else can get to, it simply means, in effect, nothing. The word is going to remain in the title bar once we complete this action here by clicking OK. And before doing that, note that we also would want to highlight the changes on screen. Click OK. The action will now save the workbook. We'll click OK. Notice that in the title bar, we see the word shared. Now again, that does not mean necessarily that others have access to this file. We might be the only users. Let's make a change here. In cell I1, I'm gonna change this job rating to three. Enter, and there's the indicator. And as we slide over this cell, what do we see? An indication as to who made the change, that's me, on a given date, given time, and we see what's happened. I'll make another change. Change this amount to 45,000. And sure enough, the same sort of thing happens. We can slide over this at a later time to remind ourselves of the changes here. Now, if we close this file and save it, and then open this file at a later time, those change indicators aren't there, but we can go to the Review tab and Track Changes, highlight the changes, and by the way, notice below this, accept reject changes. If there are other users, remember this is a shared workbook and there could be, uh, we can get to that situation as well. Let's go to highlight changes first. And we want to highlight the changes on the screen, but notice that we have the ability to check since we last saved or all of them or not reviewed since a certain date. So there's some flexibility about when we're searching. We can search by everyone but me, me, and it depends, again, if there were multiple users, you would pursue that. You could also narrow your search to certain cells or certain ranges here. So we want to check by everyone. Of course, it's only me. I'll highlight the changes on the screen and list changes on a new sheet, a history sheet. Let's click OK. We now have a new history sheet. There it is. It shows the changes that have been made. It shows all the changes because I chose that option. And over time, this list might be huge. If there are different users, we're going to see different names in column D. We'll have a complete record of what's happened in this file. And we also see now all of the cells that have been highlighted. That's where the changes have occurred. And you can imagine over time how many changes we might see in certain files. Now, if there are multiple users here, we will want to go to track changes. And depending upon how this file has been used, we might want to accept or reject changes. And we can even do this if we're only the single user ourselves too. So let's check all of these perhaps, or since a certain date, have we reviewed any of these yet? Well, maybe we haven't, so we might go down that path. Click OK. Uh, here's one of the changes I made earlier. Do I want to accept that? Now, if there are multiple users, you will see two names here and you'll see what's happened. And what if the different users have changed the same cell, and you'll have the option here of accepting or rejecting. I've made multiple changes. I could accept them all. I could reject them all. Maybe I want to accept this change here, but on the second change, I don't want to, so I'll reject that one. So you have some other options here. This certainly becomes a bit more complex when you've got multiple users, but you do have the ability to review the changes that have been made, or then make your choices to accept or reject those changes. Once again, the feature Track Changes allows you to keep track of changes either when you are the only user of a workbook or when there are multiple users. And even though the feature automatically sets up the workbook to be a shared workbook, 
possibly you are the only user of the workbook.